The beautiful 22-year-old nursing student just killed in Georgia, it turns out, appears to have been killed by an illegal immigrant who has been picked up and charged with numerous crimes both before this incident and during the incident again. And it's a trend that is continuing to spread across America. Break into the country illegally and then commit felonies when you're here. And it's being encouraged by that open border at the South. Check this out. This is some sad news. ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, the other day confirmed that the Venezuelan national charge in the connection with the murder of 22-year-old Georgia nursing student Lakin Riley entered the United States illegally. This is the gal I'm talking about. The whole country is upset about what happened to her. That's her. She's a nursing was a nursing student in Georgia. Uh, she was out for a walk jog around the campus before this murdering illegal alien thug caught her, beat her, and executed her. It turns out he entered the United States illegally in 2022, was arrested in New York City. He was let out. God, that's a shocker. Mm. Um and released for further processing. Then he was arrested and charged with acting in a manner to injure a child less than 17 and a motor vehicle license violation. And then they let him out. So he's got a criminal record. He's in the country illegally. He's in New York, which is a sanctuary city. And then he tells his wife, this gal that he married, so they could split expenses and get their papers, that he needed to go to Georgia for a job. But she said, he was a nice guy. We didn't fight very much or whatever. <laughs> He goes down there and kills this beautiful young lady. And from what people are now saying, there are dozens of cases all over the country like this that are now being reported that were being covered up before that, you know, there would be a murder. They'd identify mm -hmm. the suspect, but they wouldn't mention background, illegal alien, long criminal record, released repeatedly, held and then released without cash bail because, you know, cash bail is discriminatory so you might as well just leave him out right the lady that he married Lalo Leiling Franco from Venezuela said that they got married so they could put their asylum cases together and get green cards he's been charged with malice murder felony murder aggravated battery aggravated assault false imprisonment kidnapping hindering <laughs> a 911 call and concealing the death of another you, you know However, what Barry go ahead minute. Okay. The judge said today we will deny bond, but we will have another bond hearing at which time that we can determine that he can be released. <laughs> so uh, let, let's get this straight. So he was caught in New York, which we all know, arrested and then let go. He goes down to the devil goes down to Georgia. Well, wait, wait, wait. That's after he got into the country illegally, captured. Right. Go. Right. Coming to country illegally, makes his way to New York. Then the devil goes down to Georgia and takes the life of this young lady. And the only reason why we're hearing about it is because they let it slip through the cracks, right? They let it slip through the cracks and report it on it. That's the only reason why people are talking about it. Because other than that, like you just mentioned, all the other cases across the country, they're not saying anything about it. What about the angel moms? This So this is not the first time this happened. It's not something new. The angel moms were screaming about all of the illegals coming across the southern border for years because they would come in the country, get behind a wheel, drinking and driving, no driver license, and they would kill somebody, kill an American citizen. Happened constantly. And now you have the White House coming out with a statement saying that no one, I mean, this won't, this won't go without punishment. Basically, I'm paraphrasing here. I don't remember exactly how they said it, but they're saying that they're going to bring down the full force of the law on this person. It's a little late for that. They should have brought the full force of the law by preventing this monster from coming into the country in the first place. And then the mayor out of the little town in Georgia does the press conference about that. Did you see that? I did not. Oh, my goodness, Barry, the mayor. Let me just tell you really quick. The mayor said that. There is no evidence. I'm going to paraphrase it here because I don't remember exactly how he said it. There's no evidence that the illegal migration of these people coming into our country 
is related to the crime that we're seeing, Barry. He said there's no relation to it. No relations. And the people, and there was one particular guy in the in the, the press conference that he was having, he started yelling at him. He said, you're lying. You're absolutely lying. There is a connection. Why is this young lady gone? And then on the top, put the icing on the cake really quick about this mayor. And there's so much more to it, Barry. But to put the icing on the cake, guess what he did? He what? brought up Charlottesville. He brought up President Trump talking about in 2019. We had a president that was saying vile things about foreigners coming to our country. Well, here's more and, evidence. His brother uh, was charged on Friday last week possessing a fraudulent green card and is still being held. He was previously arrested in September, f four months ago, for drunk driving and <laughs> driving without a license and let go. Then he wow. was later arrested for shoplifting, never showed up in court. Now they caught him again with a fraudulent green card. This family are murdering thugs that broke into the country as felons. And if any idiot mayor or not says it has nothing to do with the fact that they're probably escaped criminals from venezuela or peru or wherever let out of prison so they could come here to do the same thing that's just ignorance it really is and barry you know they're doing this to the country and i've explained this before they want the chaos in the united states of america the democrats are they don't care did you know there was uh, there was a they had a, a group of a whole bunch of students. What do they call it? A visual? A visual. They all, yeah, a visual. They all showed up and the mainstream, the government, state media, none of them are reporting on it. None of them are talking about it. The only reason why I know about it because it was on X. They're talking about it on X. There's videos of it flying around there. That's the only way. But other than that, nothing. If the roles were reversed, Barry, let's say there was a MAGA Republican that did such a thing to a, to a black female or a female of color. Oh my goodness, the white supremacists, it had been all over. Number one thing on the news, this is Trump's fault. This is Trump's fault. But that idiot mayor tried to bring it in and try to put, put blame on President Trump. This is so bizarre. It's so bizarre right. that people are blatantly looking at the truth and they're denying the truth and they're going along with the stupidity. That's why every time we talk week by week, the polls are increasing that illegal immigration and the open borders becoming a bigger and bigger deal, not just for conservatives. I'm talking about moderates and liberals are saying, hey, I thought it was a great idea for a sanctuary city until my city got overrun and there's pee and poop in the street everywhere and people are being robbed at the CVS. Being assault assaulted, yes.